Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is raining. There is not going to be any walking today, I don't think. But maybe inside jogging up and down the stairs. But I am down here and everybody's up in bed because groceries are coming. They're supposed to be here at 9. 21, it is 9.37, I just came down, I took my time and I showered and washed my hair and did my face, I don't do a lot, it takes me five minutes, I got dressed, so here we are, we can fold the laundry while I wait for it. I did start some braids, I mixed three parts pure white with one part of sea lavender, which is the color of my sweater, the periwinkle, and it's gonna be this really, really beautiful pale periwinkle. So, I'm starting to wash the green out of my hair. So, I have a feeling most will bleach out when I do my roots. Yeah, that's my status this morning. Oh, groceries canceled all of the Halloween stuff I had on there. I had a spider for the second week in a row. I tried to get a spider decoration didn't come. Halloween sprinkles, Halloween decorating like sugar figures, those are both no. Some Halloween shaped pretzel bag, those are no. Um, both of the breakfast things that my husband and I put on. I put blueberry donuts on for the kids and he put on a um, muffin pack. Both of those are no. <laughs> and they switched out one of the soup pastas. I put in there just for some variety. I think I also got our normal macaroni noodles, but I'll have to see. And then they swapped out. They haven't had the bakery sourdough bread recently that we use for grilled cheese. They keep giving us this less good one, but it, it's fine. We can make do with it. So yeah, see you later.
everyone. I've been having a creative Sunday. As you saw, I started painting a skull for myself to have a face mask with a skull. Hopefully it works out. It's just my artist's acrylic on some fairly thin black material. I figure the paint's gonna be a little thick and I'm gonna have a lining. So I went with my one of my thinner ones. It's still one that I somewhat regularly, sorry dinos, I almost ran into you. Somewhat regularly uses like a lining inside of a mask. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it looks okay. It's like a little smaller than my face, but I mean, skeletons are smaller. This is all like skin and muscle and chub. So fingers crossed that when that's dry and I sew it, it works out. And then while I was doing that, Sebastian was outside in the garage building a golf putt set. I can hear him slamming the ball around down there. And then when he came inside, he wanted to decorate our little haunted mansion gingerbread set. He was in charge of the roof because roofs look great when you just cover them with stuff. I think he ate more than he... I think he ate more than he put on. I do not know what is going on with that. Oh, it was upside down. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so that is drying. I realized last time that it works out a lot better when you have multiple people working on it to just decorate the pieces flat, let them dry for a few hours, and then you can glue them together into the house. If they make it that far, you might try to eat it. <laughs> but it was fun. I liked decorating it. The frosting that came with it was not good. The little black one was okay, but the white stuff that you're supposed to color yellow and blue and then leave some white. Oh, it was like cottage cheese. It was gross. So I always buy some nice icing like Milton's. So I got a set. I already had some yellow I had bought for the volcano and never used. And then I got a kit from Lidl that had black and orange. And then I got a black cookie icing for narrow lines and I totally forgot about it because the kit came with a little thin black icing. So we'll have that for another time. Yeah, no walks. I have nothing on my green. It's a little sad. I'm just past halfway on everything else. So I either need to go for an indoor jog or brave the cold and dreary rain for a fast walk. I will figure that out after I go pee because it's going to get dark soon.
it is time for bed, so let's just update you on the day. I spoke with you around four, I think. And since then, yes, I went on a walk. It was still misting, but I was like, dang it, I do not feel like jogging in place and running up and down the stairs for a half an hour. It's gonna be a lot of that in my future in the winter if I wanna keep up with my exercise streak. Probably lower the time goals down a little bit for the winter and then go back up in the spring. But I was like, I'm just doing it. I'm bundling up. My husband joined me with Piggy and Sebastian hopped in the stroller. The stroller is like instant active minutes for me, pushing him up all the hills around here. It, it, it's rough on my heart sometimes. <laughs> It was really hard in the final stretch. We've been rained on the whole time, like a misty rain. My glasses are covered. My husband was like over it and he's just leaving me in the dust. And Sebastian was getting upset that he wasn't staying near us and he was strapped in the stroller. And he's like, no, no, stay, stay. And he's like, I need to get out, I need to get out. He's like panicking. He really wanted to run up the rest of the block to it to my husband before he went around the corner so I let him loose even though I was like upset I'm like no please I want you to be safe and he face plants the first step he takes trying to go into a full sprint so he's sobbing husband's long gone walking full speed towards the house I'm still getting my heart rate back down from 170 <laughs> so all I could do is just set him up in the stroller and comfort him and slowly walk home. That was rough. And my husband was all mad when we got in, mad at Sebastian, and he didn't understand why he was crying. And I had reassured Sebastian, saying, oh, we could put clean pants on you because they were covered in grass clippings and he was just wet and upset. I was like, we'll get you all clean and comfy. But when we went in and he was like, okay, I'm ready for some clean pants. My husband, who hadn't been there for that conversation, like, no, you don't need clean pants. Well, they're not dirty. Brush them off. And then he was sobbing and he was hiding from my husband. So when I went upstairs to put on slippers right after, he followed me up and he wanted to hide. And I was like, you know what? Daddy's probably just feeling grumpy today. I think we should do something to cheer him up and maybe that would help the situation. And we agreed to make a heart out of Duplo's and he did that and brought it down and gave it to him and in the process he cheered up too so after that the gingerbread house pieces were dry enough that i was able to glue them together into a house a haunted house i love it it's so much fun i feel like every gingerbread house should be haunted <laughs> so much fun to paint those or draw i guess with icing ice those trees and I love letting Sebastian go nuts on the roof because he can do whatever he wants and it's the roof. It looks awesome no matter how much you pile on it. He wanted to eat it instantly. <laughs> My husband was like, no, you can't. You've got to leave it for a few days so you can look at it. He's not so happy that we put some Kit Kats on there because I don't think they sit out very well, but we can pop those off. It's okay. Uh, we had spaghetti because, again, we have no clue what Jax will actually eat. We would ideally like to have like four meals that we cook at home per week and we really only have a solid two. It would be three if my husband would eat tofu with us, but I don't think he will. What do you need? I'm still doing my video, man. What's up? You take this off. You want to take something off? The yellow pizza. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. But we ate some spaghetti because that's what we had. And I actually put in a little Whole Foods order. We did get Walmart today. There were a lot of cancellations. Half of it was supposed to be decorations for that little house, but I pulled out all my old sprinkles and it worked out just fine. 
they only gave you like six of those little candy corn pumpkins to decorate with. I just cut them in half vertically so you could stick on a half. Um, we didn't get their little pretzel bags. I get a lot of snack bags right now because they're in charge of getting their own snacks and they take too much. As I saw today, Jax was taking some of my tortilla chips I used for my avocado and he had a massive bowl. So we didn't get those and a few other things. Plus oh, all of our muffins and donuts that we tried to get, we always like kind of over pick the breakfast baked goods because they're so likely to not be in stock. But I went ahead and I placed an order for Whole Foods for tomorrow morning. I added the chocolate chip muffins my husband had wanted and the pretzels we didn't get are on sale there, so that's great. And when I saw the lettuce that I had gotten, I got like special fancy organic lettuce because I don't necessarily trust Walmart to have lettuce that's not going to give me E. coli or whatever it comes in the, the lettuce all the time but it's kind of small and I'm going to make a few like southwest salads I got stuff for that for lunches so I wanted to get more from Whole Foods there are some Whole Foods only things that I really wanted, but they're just, they're not in stock. It's been difficult finding things for delivery. It's like half of the stuff that's available for delivery is gluten-free, which is great for people if you're gluten-free, but if I buy that, my husband's probably not gonna eat it. So, but yeah, we put together an order. He threw on some Sideli stuff, so hopefully that makes it. And I don't even remember, you have to get to 35 and I was struggling a bit and then handed it over and now we're at 60, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, so that's coming tomorrow. Uh, after dinner and ordering, I went downstairs, hang on, I went downstairs and sewed that mask. Now this is a Halloween only mask because it is very difficult to wash being acrylic paint on one side I would have to delicately hand wash the back, sanitize the front with wipes and air dry it so it's gonna be saved for Halloween night so I don't have to go through all that. Yeah? Are you stuck? Yeah. Okay don't move. You're stuck under your chair. Thanks. A <laughs> little bit of a rescue job there. I'm really happy with it. Um, I was expecting the, the hem to take more of the eye socket out. I'll have to decide if I want to fold that down a little more. Because it might be tricky to get eye makeup to line up. If I end up doing the eye makeup, I might be lazy because I'm not trick-or-treating and just handing out and just wear the mask and my glasses and call it a day. But if I wanted to be fancy, I could take my glasses off and do makeup from like here up. Maybe. I'm not buying any fancy makeup though. <laughs> It'd be black eyeshadow and my white jumbo crayon. Uh, then... I came up and was queuing up the school for Jax. It's gonna be a rough week. He's got two chapter tests and a big science lab where he has to draw asexual and I have meiosis. He's on cell meiosis, I think. So, cell rep reproduction. My oh, lips don't work. So, I don't think he's gonna be very happy this week. So there's that. I know there's a million worksheets. It's just one of those weeks. And now it's now. We are doing pretty good. It's gonna be nine o'clock in one minute. So I'm gonna get changed. He's changed already. Just needs to do teeth. And hopefully I will do some more of this. It'd be nice to have a good amount of the top area done. Usually I start from the bottom, but I'm starting from the top down just so it's more visible on Halloween to have the more white icy hair 
no clue what the tones in that bodysuit is going to be if it's like true black and white or if it has like a bone color i can always go back over that mask with a little bit of color and give it a wash if it really bothered me but it is going to be dark so maybe i don't care i don't know anyway i'm just rambling and i'm all over the place so i'm gonna say good night and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching please be safe and don't forget to wash your hands